Well, folks, in the spirit of the clip you just watched, today we bring you the second episode of our three-part special series, The Yi Women, Weaving for a Better Future, about women of the Yi ethnic minority in China's southwestern Yunnan province. Our reporter, Matita Fuchs, investigates how microcredits and small loans can make a big difference in the lives of the Yi women and promote more gender equality. We're hitting the road again, driving from Yunnan's provincial capital of Kunming through the mountains to Yongran County in Chuxiang Yi Autonomous Prefecture. Here at the local Yi Minority Embroidery Association, women, old and young, are taking the sewing needles and their future into their own hands. In the past, we used to live a difficult life with a low income. I was also dependent on my husband. Now the cooperative has helped me improve both my income as well as my embroidery skills. The key to success lies in microfinancing schemes that have ignited their entrepreneurial drive. The Yongran Women's Federation is handing out subsidized loans and microcredits to the embroidery women. It helps them weave their way out of poverty and boost their income generation. Some of the women use the revolving fan to start up their own shops. Some women have grown their businesses into big ones and bought cars. The United Nations Development Program, UNDP, launched a pilot project in 2012 and has helped set up three e-minority embroidery associations in the area for the economic empowerment of the women and the development of the national cultural industry. It works closely with the Yunnan's Women Federation based in Kunming to provide more microfinancing tools for the local women. We have allocated 500,000 yuan into a revolving fund. Each household gets 2,000 yuan as a startup capital. The government also subsidizes the interests of these loans. The cooperatives in Yongran County have mobilized some 1,350 women to come work in the embroidery industry. Their average annual income has risen from just 7,000 renminbi to 30,000. The local women's federation is providing additional financing. The provincial government has a 240,000 yuan, three-year term revolving fund dedicated for female startups. Each female embroidery worker gets between 2,000 to 50,000 yuan from that fund. Another stakeholder, U.S. cosmetics firm Mary Kay, is also lending its support to help the women weave their way out of poverty. We believe that many women can have a chance to realize their dream. Sometimes they just need a little help. So since uh, 2001, Mary Kay Women's Small Business Fund has helped 70,000 women entrepreneurs in 23 provinces through interest-free loan, with which the women entrepreneurs start a business or upgrade their business to a brand new level. The International Monetary Fund in Beijing, meanwhile, says that lessons can be learned from similar projects in other parts of the world. Financial sector inclusion is an area that is important across the world, uh, in particular for women. Um, I think the good news here is that China can benefit from the experiences of other emerging countries and developing countries. Uh, to give an example, uh, uh, Kenya is a country that has very successfully used mobile banking. I believe 30 percent of the population now uses mobile banking. Um, uh, but there are other country uh, cases that China could look at, and the IMF is in a good position uh, to give that international experience to China. Loans to micro and small businesses climbed to 21.4 trillion yuan, or 3.5 trillion U.S. dollars, in the first quarter, up 17 percent from a year earlier faster than the average loan growth rate. That's according to the China Banking Regulatory Commission. The banking regulator has been issuing notices to financial institutions to encourage more lending to small businesses over the past two years. But more effort will make these flowers bloom. Martina Fuchs, CCTV News, in Chuxiang Yi Autonomous Prefecture, Yunnan Province.